Hello everyone, today I'll be unboxing my Ciderwell thermostats. Closer view at the back, then closer view at the thermostat. I just want to put the batteries inside of that so you guys can see. There we go. It's very simple to put together. Then I get the smiley face, I think that's cute. And you just wait until it's loaded and you just play with it a little bit. It does have eater eating and cool my the one i showed you previously did not have that so i really need to change it because in the summer it's really hot and it doesn't have cooling so there's on purpose of that when you could only use it for one season for for this one it does have cooling and heat and that's with me trying to play with it try to figure it out but look at the smiley face cute 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 and then that's how you would attach it and then you attach the wire as well and then you will Put the back onto it. Before you remove the device, remember to turn off your electric panel. Also, the image on the left is that of the Citer Well device, and you can see the color is color coded. Here on the screen, I have the instruction and how you could download it to your iPhone and your Android. So you just go to the App Store, you type in Cyber Well Link, then you're gonna click download, and then you're gonna create an account, and then you're gonna set up the account. So right now, I'm, I'm just searching for the app inside of the App Store. So I think there's like two names, but you just scroll until you see the correct one, which is that one on the screen with the green button. What you're gonna do is just, you're gonna download it and then you're gonna wait for it to download. And then you go to your screen, open the app and you do all that. Then you create your account if you do not have an account. Enter, register, enter your email and then your password. And then you can just create a unique username. So I type, in the name where I'm gonna be placing this device. So it's easier for me to find because you could create multiple names and you don't wanna get yourself confused. The next thing we're gonna do once the app is downloaded is connect the device to the app so I'm able to control the temperature on my phone. So once you create your password and you create your account, you're gonna to go to your phone and then you're gonna to try to connect your device to your phone, which you're gonna do it through Bluetooth connection, which is gonna be to your Wi-Fi. What I'm gonna show you on the screen is the reset button. So we're just gonna click the reset button very quick so we could see the device on the Bluetooth. So once that is done, I'm gonna just put that to the side for a second, go to the phone and just set up everything. Once I connect the device, the Bluetooth and all that, then I'm gonna wait for it to load. Once you wait a few minutes for a device to connect, you will see that green check mark, which shows that it is ready to go. You're going to go back to your phone and then you just follow the instruction 
on your phone and how to completely set up the device which is just very simple it's and easy for you to do there i'm just entering password for my wi-fi and everything then just walking through the instruction that they're telling me and once that is done you'll be able to control the temperature from your device to your phone but on the screen that's a hot temperature i'm monitoring the screen of my phone so the same numbers that you're seeing there is going to show on your thermostat so like i said that's the hot temperature and the cold temperature is blue that's it on the screen right there and i was just playing with it to see how I can control the temperature but like I said it's very easily I was having issues because it was telling me that my device was not compatible with the device I have downstairs so I'm just gonna have to change my device so I could have this one up and running instead but yes like I said it's very simple I'm not the one who's gonna be changing it I'm gonna I should get an electrician to do it that's pretty much it it's very simple to connect your device to your phone and at the end of this video i'm gonna leave another picture a screenshot of what the the correct app is but thank you guys i will leave all the information down in the description box so you guys could purchase this item